saw something from our window that we said we have to go and see. We made it to the Waffle Building. This place is full of sardines. That was part one. My weakness is jewelry. Let the three euro challenge begin. We made it to the other side. And clearly the side that we're staying on is way more beautiful. And I'm so glad we came over here so we could appreciate it. I don't know, there's some beautiful stuff on this side too. Well, yeah, I mean like, wow, okay. You only said that because I said something earlier, whatever. Play that clip again. Speaking of beautiful, what is that? Oh, I thought you were talking, you were pointing at me? Uh, what? Good morning, everyone. It is our last full day here in Porto, and we're just doing some housekeeping things. Brian's over here editing, and while he's finishing that up, I am going to tackle laundry. I'm just going to wash our underwear and socks in the sink, so I'll show you how I do it. These will not dry just by air drying in the room. So thank goodness they have this little convenient uh, blow dryer. So who knows how long this will take me. So we're getting a little bit of a late start. It's about two o'clock. Uh, we're heading to do something fun. We're a bit sad because it was supposed to be sunny today. The sun has not come out. It's still very much overcast, but we saw something from our window that we said we have to go and see. So we're gonna take you there. We've been walking uphill and uh, let me just show you here what we <laughs> still have to go. First of all, that's really beautiful up there, but more importantly, we made it to the waffle building. Don't those look like waffles? Ready for this? I am, I'm excited. I have like kind of a small fear of heights, like a little bit. I don't like the possibility of dropping, um, but I'm not scared, I'm excited.
Okay, so while we're all getting into a nice cozy cable car together, we just want to take this opportunity to remind you to like the video if you're enjoying it, and please consider subscribing to the channel for more travel vlogs just like this one. We have dozens more in the pipeline, and we'd really like you to see them. But anyway, let's go for a ride, shall we? it definitely like goes off the track kind of fast but it is so beautiful we would have never been able to see any of this if we didn't come up here so So that was part one of the trip. We're going back up later. We are not doing that hike again. Uh, but first we're gonna explore. There's a bunch of little, uh, little, what would we call these stalls? Yeah, market. Um, little market stalls, booths, things set up. So let's see what Lauren finds. I emphasize Lauren because it is really Lauren who's gonna be doing the bulk of the shopping here. I'll kind of be hovering it. Oh, he's right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna limit myself to three euros. Three. Is that okay with you? I don't think she can limit. She's gonna like find something for like five and she's gonna be like, oh, okay, fine, five, and then she's gonna do five. We'll see. Let the three euro challenge begin. <laughs> My weakness is jewelry. Backpack, shoes, purses, everything. This place is full of sardines. TikTok, it's a very specific place to be. I think about you guys. This would be like your Mecca. <laughs> and it goes up. What we just witnessed. I, I don't know what that was. I don't know why that was. Um, okay. All right, we are in, heading back up to where we started. And as we go back up, let's take a moment to relax and enjoy the beauty of Porto. 
We'll see you at the top. Okay, so now we are going to the top of the waffle uh, to check out the <laughs> building on top, the waffle house. Um, yeah, we have no idea how we're gonna get up there though, so that's what we gotta figure out. Yeah, we're hoping it's do that way, do this way. And if somehow we get lost, no big deal. We're exploring Porto and we leave tomorrow, so might as well get as much out of the city as we possibly can. Isn't that right? Yes, and hope that all of my socks dry before the morning. <laughs> yeah. I might be, as soon as we get back to the hostel, I might just spend an hour in the bathroom. On that note, blow dry my underwear and socks. <laughs> I took some t-shirts out today that were still wet from Belfast, so. But I did tell him when we were in Dublin for three days to hang up those shirts in the hostel to air dry, but no, continue on about your wet shirts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's All right, right, let's climb a waffle, shall we? So one thing about this city, we keep thinking, oh, okay, this is the most beautiful view you can possibly get. And then you look in a direction and there's like a higher point. So you go up and you think, oh, this is the most beautiful view. Maybe we'll take a cable car up. And then you look up again and there's an even higher point. Like the city keeps presenting new opportunities to get amazing views of it. And by the way, the lights just came on in this, uh, I guess it's a church, I don't know. I heard uh, somebody practicing drums in there. Um, or it could have been drums actually from down the band playing. I don't know which direction. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go across this bridge and see what we find there. And that should let us wind back around to the hostel where we'll turn in for the night. And tomorrow we go to Lisbon. But I still have three euros to spend. Oh, the three euros. And I know exactly where I wanna spend it, how I wanna spend it. And it's conveniently right by our hostel, so. And I can't even get her on a technicality because there's no like tax or anything. It's like three euros even. Yeah. So it's not gonna be like 320 something, so. And this is actually potentially gonna be cheaper than three euros. So we'll see. Do you have any idea? I I still have one more ace up my sleeve, so we'll see what happens when you buy it. All right. Lauren is just speculating about yeah, like this. Yeah, well, there's lights coming down. We'll have to look it up. Oh, 
All right, so we're almost back to the hostel, but the three euro challenge is about to come to an end. This way. Give me some of your last guesses, Bri. Last guesses? Yeah. Of what you're gonna buy? Yeah. Well, your earrings from yesterday broke, so I'm guessing and no, it's not gonna be earrings. You're not gonna do that again. Are you about to buy me a pen or something? No, it's not about you. That would've been thoughtful, but no. I honestly have no idea. Are you gonna keep me in suspense or are you just yeah. gonna tell me what you're about to get? I'll keep you in suspense. A few moments later. This is it. Okay, so I had this in my mind the whole time because our hostel is just right up the road. Every morning we would see this gelato. So I wanted to get it before we left. It was 280 for one scoop, which was under the three euro mark. And I would like for you to explain yourself. So, uh, two things. You said that you were gonna spend three euros, you spent 280, but also I got one. So you technically spent, what was it, five something? So you either didn't spend what you said you were gonna spend or you went over the $3 limit. No, that's incorrect. Um, because you yeah, wanted it, right? This is for my. I should we have paid receipt? separately? You have the what money would you have? You have I have all the money. <laughs> I mean, look at the receipt. He was. This was just something for me. At the very last minute, he decided to get one. Literally within like 20 seconds. So, is it good though? Oh, are you still making excuses over there? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> So we're back at the hostel and we have all these stairs to climb. So we wanted to distract ourselves. So we figured we'll talk. Uh, While we're out of breath. Yeah. Should we uh, recap our experience in Porto? Because we head to Lisbon in 12, well, a little over 12 hours, but. Yeah. You can start. Okay. <laughs> or should we sit on the bed and do it? Yeah, let's sit on the bed and do it. Okay, we'll be back. All right, we're back for our final evening here in Porto in our favorite hostel, which is a huge pro for this trip. So we wanna briefly go over some pros and cons of our stay here in Porto. I think my experience with Porto is sort of, I know it's sort of ironic how like steep the elevation is here because I feel like that was my experience. I, our first impressions just completely blew me away. And then it sort of took a dive between uh, some experiences, some very invasive experiences that we had with um, beggars every single day that we were here. This isn't your typical spare some change and move on. This was... Yeah, they were aggressive where we were uh, nervous and mm -hmm. didn't feel safe. So, uh, yeah, those definitely, every time that happened, we were like in definitely a different headspace. Yeah, and then it was just very dull and gloomy every single day. So I think that took a toll on my mood as well. I think, you know, it could be a different experience in the summer, you know, if we had maybe gone to the beach or something yeah. or, or taken a, a ride on one of the boats, but it rained a lot of the time we were here. So the, some of the things that maybe we could have done, even the, the weather didn't permit us to. Today sort of brought it back up a little bit. I finally started to really soak in Porto, but I don't know, it just, it didn't really, it never clicked with me. Um, what about you? I was just going to say, I completely agree. I think that Porto has been a great place for us to take it easy. We've had little bits of uh, relaxed downtime, but I do want to remind everyone, including ourselves, that right now we are 17 days into travel and it is the most we've ever traveled in our whole lives, the most distance. We've seen now three countries in just 17 days and we have so much more to go. Mm. So with that being said, we found um, a nice place in Porto with this beautiful hostel, this nice room. So yeah, we've been taking it easy because we're going to have some very busy days ahead. Yeah, like you said, good for recharging the batteries and I'm sure Lisbon, you know, from what we've read, Lisbon has more to offer. So maybe we'll get the experience we were hoping to have here, uh, there, so. 
and we'll have a few days in Lisbon and then we're off to Spain after that. But of course, tomorrow we're hopping on a three hour bus ride that we'll take you on and then we will show you around Lisbon. Three simple words. Lisbon is magical. I am alone in a Portuguese movie theater.